This is Twit. Well, the shift to serverless is real. Cloud native applications are and will continue to be made up of heterogeneous microservices deployed across hybrid clouds. But while most organizations' current server types lean toward VMs and bare metal, their choices are predicted to shift to containers and serverless platforms within the next two years. A, a research group called the Enterprise Strategy Group, or ESG, their analyst report researchers found 34% of respondents use serverless extensively, while 18% currently use serverless on a limited basis, 16% plan to start using serverless within the next one to two years, and 28% are currently evaluating serverless. Only 3% of companies out there don't have any plans involving serverless at all. The drivers for serverless functions? Well, those include improved security, network-based tech to secure against attacks, security functionality embedded in source code containing serverless function calls, and faster time to market when developing new applications. Now, with all this, there are security concerns. The API vulnerabilities are the top worry when considering serverless functions, followed by exposure of secrets, API calls that result in unencrypted data transfer, escalated privileges, and use of unapproved APIs. Now, how are people doing this? DevSecOps is emerging as the primary means of protecting cloud-native applications, with more than half of respondents incorporating security into DevOps. Another 20% plan to do so. However, as of right now, only 8% of organizations are currently securing 75% or more of their cloud-native apps using DevSecOps practices.